Brothers, the likes of Mzejomo Kenyatta and Jaramogi Oginga Odinga were able to negotiate and compromise even with the British colonialists. Uh, when when Mze Jaramogi Oginga Odinga said, without Jomo Kenyatta there will be no freedom. Now, we should emulate them. 26 years ago, the late President Daniel Arab Moe's ruling party, Kanu, by the way, I was, Kanu was organizing secretary for 12 good years. Eh, I was elected a national organizing secretary the same day with the late Moses Mundamba Modavadi, Wycliffe's father. So you can see if Modavadi is beginning to look old. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I started it with his old, late father. That is a beauty when you are young, you see it all. And I therefore can pass this information, this wisdom, sometimes lack of it, depending on how you look at it, to the younger leaders. Mzemui then was able to accommodate dialogue. After the violence that followed two or seven elections and almost tore our nation apart, Mze Kibaki, our brother Raila, and indeed myself, with our respective coalitions, were able to come together and work on creating a durable new constitution. Our history is replete with examples of transformative national dialogues for the betterment of all Kenyans. We at Azmiul Omoja One Kenya Alliance Coalition remain optimistic that these bipartisan talks we should conclude with a report handed to both uh, my friend William Ruto and my brother here uh, on November 22nd. We are very clear. We don't want to stay there for longer than is necessary. And some of them say we are paid huge sums of money. I have not seen a cent. <laughs>